Good morning everybody and welcome to the start of the video. I'm in Newark right now. Just waiting on a hotel room actually. So hopefully I'll have that in about 10 minutes or less and uh, I'll explain more when I get there. Now before I fully disrobe and my battery on my camera dies, let's do the room tour. We got the bathroom here, nothing special. It smells kind of weird in here, I'm not gonna lie. This is my room that I paid for myself. My camera batteries did die anyways, take two. So here is the room, we got the bed, you know, pretty basic stuff here, nothing special. Let's see the view, ooh it's bright. Good old view of the parking lot, Newark Airport. Very close, we got a cute little sign right here. I did not know that Boston Market had rotisserie nuggets. So now everybody knows. Yo, Boston Market used to be the spot. I used to freaking love eating there. Hey, you already know. Whoa, there's nothing in there. Mm -mm. Um, okay, no fridge. Wow, I'm shook. This is not good, okay. Okay. What is happening right now? Do what we gotta do right now, put on some sweatpants, take the bag from the ice bucket, take the bag from the closet that you're supposed to put laundry in, put them together, and go get some ice from the ice machine. A few moments later. Put it in the big bag for when it starts to bleed and get water all over the place. And that, my friends, is how you do it. You know I meal prep. I put some water in this and put it in the freezer, so this is like, totally iced up. I'm gonna put this one on the other side. Y'all, we're gonna be fine. No biggie. We might be roughing it a little bit, but we'll be all right. Welcome once again to the video. So I am in Newark. I actually have a three-day trip starting tonight around five-ish, five or six. And I came from Charlotte this morning. I commuted in on the first thing smoking because it's Labor Day weekend. All the flights were full. The flight that I got on was full. I got the last seat. So I didn't have any confidence that I was gonna get on any flights later in the day. So I just wanted to get on the very first thing smoking. After all that commuting, I got here about we landed at about 9.30 and by the time I got here and got my room, it's now like 11 o'clock. So this is a commuting hack that I just recently have started to use um, because this year has been rough for commuting. Ever since like March onward, it's been almost impossible to get to work, been just an absolute nightmare. So can't take it anymore. I have to be able to work, you know what I'm saying? Like the rent is due on the first. Every month the rent is due and I need to be able to get to work. So one thing that um, I started doing recently was getting day rooms taking the very first flight out from Charlotte to Newark and getting a day room or a day use room, sometimes what they call it. And so basically, so you know check-in is normally around what, like two or three? I can use this room from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. This is something I would highly recommend for all my commuters. My check-in isn't until 5.15 p.m. I had to take the 8 a.m. flight to Newark to get here around 9.30. That means I would spend what? You do the math seven plus hours sitting in the crew room. There's no sleep room for us. There's a few chairs, chairs that are basically taken up by the same flight attendants all the time. They just, I guess they live there, <laughs> no shade. But there's a few like reclining chairs, but there's no like shower. There's nowhere to, you know, there's bathrooms, but you can't really freshen up. And it's not some, the crew room isn't somewhere that I would recommend sitting for more than a few hours. The longest I've sat in there, I've had to sit in there on accident, like for eight hours one time. And it was just like the most nauseating 
horrific experience of your life if you have to sit in there for just hours and hours upon end because you can get comfortable you don't have to sit there in your uniform you can take your uniform off you can put on your sweatpants or, or anything like that but it's just uncomfortable the lights are on high beam and it's absolutely horrible so I'm not gonna sit in the crew room for seven hours just to save a hundred dollars. This room was $113 after tax. So not bad for, you know, seven hours. I really have, um, now I have like a solid like four and a half hours, but I get this whole room. I get to spread out. I get to go take a nap. I can shower again before my trip. I can brush my teeth and just freshen up. You know what I'm saying? Before my trip. So I don't show up, you know, looking like this. Um, so I'm gonna take a nap. Freshen up, relax, lay here, lounge as close to time as I can to check out of here and go to my trip. That's what I will do. So I think it's worth it. Some people do what I'm doing and commute in on the first flight because it's hard. Like places like Atlanta and anywhere in Florida, it's really hard to commute. Charlotte now is really hard to commute. So some people fly in on the first flight and they'll just sit in the crew room all day long. I have toyed recently with the idea of getting a crash pad again, but I'm just not going to do it. First of all, I don't really want to be in close quarters with a bunch of other people. We all know what's going on in the world right now and with our job and us all being in different places. So that's a no for me right now. And it's not really cheaper to get a crash pad than to get hotel rooms. When I had a crash pad, it was $350 a month, which is like, oh, okay, if I stay there a few times a month, that pays for it, right? But for example, this hotel has a hotel sh a free complimentary shuttle that'll take me to and from the airport whenever I'm ready. When I was at the crash pad, I had to Uber. You very rarely will you find a crash pad with a shuttle. So I had to Uber from the crash pad to the airport, from the airport back to the crash pad, and that added up so quickly. So before long, I realized after a couple months of having the crash pad that yes, I was only paying $350 a month for the crash pad, but I was paying 100, 125, sometimes $150 a month just in Ubers to get to and from the crash pad. And it wasn't far, it was only like 10 minutes from the airport, but y'all know how expensive Ubers have gotten. So um, I was really spending over $450 a month to sleep in a bunk bed with a dirty bathroom, with uncomfortable mattresses, refrigerators and crash pads are always like super jam packed because there's so many people there and everybody just puts all this food in the fridge that they never eat and your food doesn't even get cold at that point because there's so much who feels me where are the who, where are the crash pad girls leave a comment who feels me about the refrigerator situation like it's not good like crash pads are just notoriously dirty and the beds are uncomfortable so if I'm gonna pay, let's say $350 a month, I would rather spend it on three hotel rooms where I'm comfortable, where I can spread out, where I can put my stuff wherever, I can come and go, I can take my clothes off, I can do whatever I wanna do, you know, and it's clean and it's clean, the shower's clean, and I can just decompress and be by myself. Last week, me and Michael actually happened to be working on the same day, which is rare. So we went in on a room last week, so it was only $56 per person. So if you can find a friend and y'all can get a hotel room together, that is like ideal because, I mean, it's lit. You got a hotel room, you don't have to stay in the crash pad, you don't have to stay in the crew room. So get you a day room. There are some websites where you can book a day room online, but I would recommend, I would highly recommend calling the hotel directly and just booking it through them. They have rooms that are just empty during the day. They're not making any money from them and they would rather get that coin than just let the, my hands are ashy. They would rather get that coin than just have the room sitting there empty. So ask for a day use room, tell them what time you needed it. I told them I needed it from about 10 to five and they told me I could use it from 10 to six. I won't be here at six unless my flight is delayed. But tell them when you need it and just verify, make sure, you know, I'm getting a day room, right? And this isn't like a regular normal room where I can only check in at two o'clock. So just confirm, make sure before you hang up the phone that it's a day room. It's usually a little bit cheaper. At this hotel, I believe like a, you know, regular room, overnight would be like $140 at the cheapest so it's a little bit cheaper you don't usually get like a discount or even a crew discount for a day room because it's already slightly discounted so yeah I hope y'all get onto that get you a day room um, it will make your life a whole lot easier if you're a commuter you don't have to worry about getting to work just get on the very first flight and just come to base and get a day room. It is so relaxing. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, now that I've done my little speech, I got my ice for my meal prep food. I'm gonna hit this bed right there. I'm gonna put my scarf on and probably play on my phone for like an hour and then I'm going to nap 
and get ready to go on my trip y'all all right y'all so i'm about to head downstairs i took a nap i got to shower again i dreamed about chocolate cake and red lobster biscuits and then i ate so much that i wanted to sleep but i was already asleep so i don't know anyways let's go to the airport All right, y'all, so we're about to board. I will talk to y'all in a bit, but uh, I'm about to fly this triple seven. Well, I'm not gonna fly it, but we're about to go um, on this triple seven 200 to San Francisco. Cute little transcon, just one flight, and I will see y'all in a bit. All right, we have finally made it to the layover. Unpacked a little bit. This is the bed I'm gonna sleep in. This isn't the bed. I'm just laying stuff in for right this second. Nothing special about this room, you know, pretty standard. It is late, it's like 10 p.m. So it's not that late, but it's like, well, y'all can't see out of that window, neither can I. Let's close these blinds though so we don't get disturbed anymore. Unlike earlier, we are blessed and highly favored because we have a fridge and yes, it is whoop, cold, so. All right, y'all, I am here in San Francisco. We finally made it to the layover. Had a very rare thing happen, and we actually landed early, significantly early, like 30 minutes early, going into our longest layover. So we have like 19 hours here, so plenty of time to rest. I can go, after I turn this camera off, I'm gonna go get on my phone for like an hour. I can get a full night's sleep and wake up in the morning and just do whatever I need to do, do whatever I wanna do. And um, so I'm just feeling very relaxed right now. I already have my alarm set. That's like one of the first things I do when I get to the hotel. I just go ahead and set my alarm no matter how late the checkout is that's just just do it just do it so you're not paranoid <laughs> I always set an alarm for when I want to wake up and then I set an alarm for 30 minutes before van time just in case any crazy thing happens and I'm just for some reason fall asleep at least I have 30 minutes to gather my things to get myself together so I'm so glad I followed one of the number one rules for commuting the number one rule for commuting is to not commute okay that's that's rule number one but if we go underneath that, only flying one leg on day one, that is the best thing to do. I've said that before and I'm so happy that I actually had another trip where I had two legs. It was like a transcon and then like a another flight that was like an hour and a half and I was, it was worth more, more, to, more hours, more money than this trip. And I was like, oh, I can do it, it'll be fine. No, it's never worth it. It's just, it's never ever worth it. Don't do it, okay? I'm so glad I, I chose to swap out of that trip for this trip because not only did I only have one flight, my crew is absolutely excellent. I'm so happy that I'm working with them. Like the energy is just like, it's a vibe. So very happy. And getting that day room earlier was just the move. I mean, I can't stress it enough. Do not go to work tired. Just don't. It's not, it's not worth it. You don't have to, just don't. It's not cute. It's not cute to be tired. Then people will tell you you look tired and then you get really mad because it's rude to be like, oh, you look tired, but you do look tired. Anywho, I'm gonna catch y'all in the morning. Even though I'm rested and everything, I'm ready to go to bed. It's 1 a.m. past 1 a.m. East Coast time and y'all know, y'all know I go to bed at like 10 o'clock. Phone goes on do not disturb at nine. Okay, don't call me. If you call me after nine, I will look at the phone and I will watch it ring and I will not answer it. I look at it just like this. Just like this and I won't answer. Don't call me after nine. <laughs> I go to bed at 10 o'clock on the dot and uh, that's that. So I'm going to bed, it's way past my bedtime. I will see y'all in the morning. Good night. Morning y'all, we are, oh. <laughs> reporting to you live from a rooftop glorious view so i've been up for a couple hours got some journaling done i managed to eat a little bit of breakfast just some random things that i brought meal prep wasn't the best this time i didn't really have a lot of time to meal prep so i just threw together whatever i could i had a salad but it ended up getting frozen in the freezer and y'all know what happens to lettuce when it freezes and then thaws it's just all wilted and nasty so that was really sad, but I managed to eat a little bit of, ate some of the frozen peppers and carrots, and I had an RX bar and some other random things, but, but now I'm up, up, I just 
pretty much trying to get as packed as possible so I don't have to do too much. I've got about two and a half hours. Yeah, two and a half hours till our van time to go back to the airport today. So I'm gonna head out of here. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna get in a workout. I have, I've had a lot going on recently, y'all. Like I was sick a couple weeks ago, not with the Rona, <laughs> okay. Didn't have the Rona, but I did have a little itty bitty cold. So I didn't do really anything for like a week, except um, I ended up sitting behind this couple who was just like a symphony of just wet cough so i'm pretty sure i got sick from sitting behind them i had my mask on but of course they didn't so they were just coughing all over the place it was definitely giving three years ago would have caused a riot on the plane it was bad so i'm blaming them but i've managed to get back on the horse recently i actually did um 15k race two days ago and now i'm just gonna try to go to the gym get a little run in i've got like three events coming up in a couple weeks and i just need to be healthy and ready and i am healthy and ready my body just boop beat in the head whatever i caught because she's back back on the horse let's go to the gym right now and get it in before this long day all right, back, as you can see, I am covered and I'm just drenched in sweat. I don't think this hotel knows what air conditioning is. That gym was a sauna. This room was actually a sauna too. I didn't really sleep that well, but I look like I jumped into a swimming pool, but you know, that means we got a good workout in. I started out with a two mile run on the treadmill and then I did like a 20 minute um, lower body workout. So yeah, that doesn't seem like a lot to warrant all this, but here we are. So I've got a solid hour to stretch, shower, eat, get my life together. So uh, I'm gonna do that. Y'all already know what it is, what the post-workout meal is. I really do, I'm so glad this layover was a decent amount of time and I was able to get that in. So y'all already know. We got the split pea soup, organic. You know what I'm saying? It is piping hot. So I'm gonna shower and eat this real quick. Mmm, yum, yum. And uh, I will see y'all in a bit right before we go. Also, one more thing before I go. Remember to put your shoes back in your suitcase. Just put them on top of something and put them on top of this plastic bag just so I don't forget them. These are so easy to forget because you'll stash them somewhere, your extra shoes, and then uh, you'll forget them. And then you call the hotel and ask if they found them and then they mysteriously won't have any idea what you're talking about. So <laughs> put the shoes in the bag. All right, I'll see y'all in a bit. All right, she is about to transform back into a flight attendant. So today is go home day. We have a long day today though. So um, because I didn't meal prep quite as good, I'm going to go to the airport a little bit earlier than I need to so I can get some food, some coffee. I'm gonna need to take gap, <laughs> to say caffeinated and fed today. So y'all wish me luck. We've got turn and then we've got a transcon. So we need all the prayers today. I'm gonna hurry up and uh, finish packing up so I can go get some ice for my lunchbox before we leave. And then I will catch y'all in a bit. All right, y'all, I don't know what is going on in San Francisco. It must be, uh, it's giving global warming. But anyways, it is hot as hell. I'm drenched in sweat and I just got on the plane. The airport was hot. Everything is just hot here today. So I don't know what's going on, but I got an ice latte with almond milk. I never ever get ice lattes, but if there was any day for some ice, it's today, so we have a Salt Lake City turn, and then we have a transcon. So we're about to do like number one. We're going to Salt Lake City. Should be about an hour and a half. I'm working in the back um, on this aircraft, and uh, I'm just economy aisle on the beverage car. You know, serving it up in economy. So it's gonna be lit, and I will see y'all in a bit. Y'all wish me luck, cause I'm literally covered in sweat right now. All right, y'all just went in on a sandwich. Now I'm fed, I am hydrated. We just finished our first leg. It went by pretty quick. In Salt Lake City, about to turn this thing around and go right back to San Francisco. Like two out of three, y'all wish me luck. All right, back on the 777, the big girl. One more flight to go. I am tired and ready to go home. <laughs> but we are gonna do this. With this red eye, we're probably, everyone's probably gonna sleep. So hopefully that's the case. But we're about to board soon, so I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm about to drink an energy drink and pray about it, and I will see y'all in Newark. So I'm done with my uh, trip. I am absolutely exhausted. Um, I don't know why I keep doing this, working three legs in one day. Just too much. It's always too much, but you think you're gonna be fine, and then you're not. So, but obviously, I'm still alive. I'm still here, and. Uh, 
Transcon was about five hours long. And now I am in Terminal A, just waiting to take a flight back to Charlotte. So now we get to play the Is Alexis Gonna Make It Home game. So, um, flight is of course delayed. There's a little bit of weather. It's like, it's like drizzling. So of course there's gotta be a delay because of, you know, a few drops of rain. Can you tell how irritated I am? So just waiting on the plane to get here. She's supposed to be here in two minutes and then hopefully they get it flipped around so we can hurry up and board. Um, I really want to be home right now. Uh, the flight was fine. Everybody slept. We only had two out of like 25, no, two out of almost 30 people eat and then everybody just slept for the rest of the flight. So the thing about these red eyes is that most of the time over half the cabin sleeps, but it's so boring that all you want to do is go to sleep. So luckily one of my crew members, my crew was so good. Luckily one of my crew members gave me an energy drink. I drank the whole entire thing. It just barely got me to the finish line. So I'm ready to go home. So let's see if I get a ticket. Let's see if I get home. I think I will. Um, yeah, I'm going home. All right, y'all. So I am back, made it home. It was raining. It was, my flight was delayed, everything, but we are here. Um, I'm actually on my way to the grocery store right now. I have a trip tomorrow back-to-back -back trips maybe I'm trying to give my trip away I'm trying to give it up but just in case I'm going to go to the grocery store get some dinner get some food real quick so I can meal prep for tomorrow y'all this is crazy and I am tired all right got groceries and I do not have time to cook so I also got a pizza my go-to and I've got about a lot less than 12 hours to sleep right now all right y'all so it is 10 8 p.m. I have about six hours until I have to get up in again to do it all over again basically um, I have another three-day trip backed all the way up so um, backed all the way up to this one so um, yeah I don't think I'm gonna get rid of my trips I think I'm gonna have to end up working it. I just spent hours cleaning and meal prepping. I did my laundry. Um, I'm still kind of working on packing a little bit, but I'm just gonna hurry up and wrap it up and go to bed and try to get as much sleep as I can. You have my dinner and this is the life y'all. Commuting is not for the week, y'all. All right, I'm gonna go to bed and I will see y'all either at the butt crack of dawn or casually around maybe 9 a.m. If by some miracle I can get rid of these trips, but I'm guessing I have about a snowball's chance in hell. Good night. And now the plot twist that none of us were expecting. Y'all, it is the same day. Um, I really did wake up at 4 a.m. and I really did attempt to go to work. So what happened was, so I told y'all that I was hoping and praying that someone would pick up my trip or that I would be able to get rid of it. They denied all my requests to just get rid of it. So I put on my big girl panties and went to work. Thought I was about to be late and missed my flight because of there was this humongous traffic jam. I cannot believe this. There is a literal traffic jam at five o'clock in the morning. I should be flying right now. Wow, what is going on today? Because there was construction early in the morning when people are going to work. Doesn't seem like a good time to do construction to me, but what do I know? Anywho, I got to my mom's house. I was leaving my car at my mom's house. Sometimes I'll pay to park it at like a parking garage, but this time I was leaving it at her, at her house uh, during this trip. So got there, we hop in the car, we're on our way to the airport and she's like, oh, well, what day are you coming back? And I was like, oh, let me look. So I go to look at my schedule to see exactly what day I'm coming back and what time. And my trip wasn't there anymore. So somebody picked up my trip at the very last second. I cannot believe it. I mean, it wasn't a bad trip, but it was a very, it was a hard trip. It was very um, work heavy, long, long days, no breaks. So, but it was worth a good amount of hours so I wasn't taking an L if I did it I was you know I was in the mindset of if I had to do it at least I'll 
get the money. If I don't have to do it, at least I will get the rest. So ended up turning around before we even got close to the airport and came back home. And then I, I did some other stuff and then I came home. So I've been sleeping for a few hours, unpacked most of my stuff and uh, now I'm home and I have like five days off. So it's tempting to pick up a trip, but I also have a lot of things to do, including edit this video. And so I think I'm just going to take the next five days to rest, reset and get ready for my next block of days that I believe I'm on again for six days in a row. I was supposed to be on for six days in a row and I believe the next time I go back to work I'm on for six days in a row so I don't know. I'm happy to be home. I'm not going to question it. I uh, was going to get a d another day room today because I had to take the first flight because all the other flights were full. So wasn't going to sit in the crew room for five hours um, before a very, very long day. So that wasn't going to happen. And one thing I'll say about that, that is another reason why I always wait until I get a seat on the plane before I book a hotel. I don't book it the day before. I would rather even wait until I get to Newark on the, you know, fly to Newark, get there to call or to to go online and book a hotel it takes two seconds and you don't really need to do it in advance because if you do that anything can happen the flight could get delayed the flight could get canceled um you could have to divert like anything there could be any number of reasons why you don't make it to where you're supposed to go so and a lot of times these discounted rates are non-refundable so if you you know what i'm saying like you don't want to pay you don't want to take like a hundred dollar l because of some crazy thing happening and you don't make it to wherever you're going so i was gonna wait until i was sitting on the plane and before i booked the hotel which was what I have been doing this whole time so another last bit of advice for you if you're commuting and you have to uh, get a day room just wait until you get there they're not gonna run out of rooms you'll be all right I promise you <laughs> so anyways with that being said there's nothing left to do except eat the bomb meal prep I did this doesn't look very bomb this is just a pe peanut butter and jelly sandwich but I did a really good job meal prepping this time honestly like your girl, she had her fruit, she had her veggies, she had everything. So I'm gonna eat all this food and um, go get my car inspected. And that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, you already know what to do. All right, so just do it. And uh, make sure you're taking good care of yourselves. Get some rest, okay? <laughs> Clearly rest <laughs> is a valuable thing. So get you some rest. I hope everybody has peace and love in their hearts. And I will see you guys very soon, very soon for real because y'all I've been busy I've been ripping and running so um I'll see y'all soon with another video bye <laughs>